Heidi ho there friends, Bobby here today. Hey folks, yesterday we actually removed an old door, about a 50 year old door in a house here, and we replaced it with this brand new door that we picked up at Home Depot. Okay, now during the filming process, the video got a little lengthy and I ran out of battery for my camera, so we're dividing this into two different videos. So the video that you're getting ready to watch is how to remove an old door, okay? And if you'll pan the camera right over here, you'll see all the old door parts that we took off yesterday. The storm door, the door, the door frame, etc. Okay? So sit back, enjoy this video, and we will leave a link down below to the video on installing this door as well. Okay, guys, the first step that we're going to do is take this old storm door off. It's just got a series of Phillips head screws all around the perimeter of the frame here and on the inside right through the jam and possibly a few over here as well. We're just gonna start taking all these screws out with our cordless impact where we can lift this whole thing out as one unit. Okay guys, all the screws are out on the perimeter and I'll leave just one right up top here just so this thing don't fall out without me wanting it to until I get all the ones in the door jam removed. Okay guys, you may have a doorbell on your door, even if you do have a back door. This customer says this thing has never worked uh, since they've owned the home. So we may or may not be going back with the doorbell here, but if you want your doorbell uh, back on, you will have to make sure you pull your wires out. We do have wires here and we will disconnect these. These are low voltage, so no need to cut any power or anything off. We're just gonna simply disconnect this to where we uh, can pull the door frame okay, out. Okay guys, the next thing we're gonna do is take the uh, molding down off of the inside of the door. Now, this is a paneled surface, so there shouldn't be any caulk on the edge. If this is a painted wall, you definitely wanna take your uh, utility knife and cut the caulk line before you start pulling this off so you wouldn't tear your sheetrock paper. But we shouldn't have very much trouble here getting in behind here and popping off this molding. And we will be replacing this molding, so if we tear it up, it's no big deal. Okay guys, we got the front uh, top piece and the left side taken off. We're just working on this last side here and we'll have all this molding off. Okay guys, next thing we're gonna do is take our utility knife and we're gonna cut this caulk line between the brick mold and the uh, brick all the way around this door opening right here, okay? Now, um, if you have siding on the on your house, you definitely want to make sure you get it cut good because you don't want to start pulling the door frame out and actually tear up your siding. Or if you had uh, like stucco or something like that, you definitely want to get that broke loose from that so you don't pull a big chunk of stucco off of there. So we shouldn't have too much trouble here, but we are going to go ahead and cut this anyway to make life a little bit easier for us. Okay, now we're going to take our hammer and our little pry bar tool here and we're going to try to get in between this uh, brick mold and the uh, door jam and we're going to try to take these uh, pieces of brick mold out of here. Now someone has actually driven 16 penny uh, framing nails through here at one time or another. I see the heads up so we might have a little bit of work to do to get these out of here. Not too bad. We'll keep working on it, guys, till we get all this brick mold taken off of here. Hey, there's one piece out of the way, guys. We just got two more to go, and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Okay, folks, after getting that brick molding off and taking a couple measurements, it looks like the um, this old door here actually never sat up against the uh, gypsum board underneath here. So this caulk line that we uh, currently have, we're gonna try to knock as much of that off there as we can, because I think our door is actually gonna sit in about a quarter inch further, okay? So we're gonna work on that for a little bit, and we took a couple measurements, and I think we're gonna to have to notch our header up there as well. We do have plenty of room at the top to do that, but we're probably gonna to have to take about three quarters of an inch off of that header up there at the top as well. So we're gonna work on this for a little bit, and we'll 
finish uh, getting the storage. Uh, almost forgot to mention for uh, getting this old caulk off of this brick, I'm just using an old wood chisel that I have and a hammer if necessary and just chipping this stuff off of here. Now before we pull this door off here, I want to show you something here. I've already pulled this little threshold out because it ha actually had come loose from the bottom of this door. As you can see, the door frame here has some water damage and some rot here. <coughs> Here's our old uh, threshold right here and it was just screwed down screws weren't even very uh, holding it very well anyway it wasn't even caulked to the brick there's a couple pieces of non-treated wood underneath here just spacing it up so we're definitely going to go back it's going to be a lot better now it's going to be sealed up a lot better so we're going to get all this cleaned up we may have to actually cut this carpet back just a little bit and then we'll have to use a little piece of molding or something to kill that off after we get the door in. Just wanted to show you that right quick, friends. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and pull our pins out of our door. We've already taken a hammer and a chisel and freed them up and pushed our pins up here. We've actually got one of them removed. So you should have three pins holding the door in place. Pull all three of them up, and then you can lift the door out of the jam. Now for the next step, we're going to come in here on the inside, and we're going to take our Sawzall. And we're going to stick it in between the uh, the jam. As you can see, there's an air gap through there. And we're going to run it down through here, cutting any nails or screw, screws that might be holding this jam in place all the way around the perimeter of it on both sides and across the top. And we should be able to release this thing and take the whole jam out. Be careful not to cut your doorbell wiring if you, if you intend on reusing it. That uh, saw's all run through there. As you can see, we can actually just kind of grab a hold of this uh, frame here and we're going to go ahead and pull the whole thing out. Uh, let's see here. So I can do this one handed guys. As you can see, we're just lifting the whole thing out and our jam is clear now. All right. Thank you for watching this video on how to remove an old door. Make sure you check the link down below for a video on how to install this brand new door. I want to thank you for watching today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we have some links down below uh, if you want to follow us on Patreon, Facebook, or Twitter. Have a great day. Okay, guys. I know that I say okay, guys, quite often, so I'm going to say it a few more times. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Have a great day. Okay, guys?